Hello and welcome to the introduction video of pipes, hacks and tries puzzles in Unity. I'm going to show you in this complete course how to create your own pipe or hexagonal or triangle lighted puzzles. We're going to talk about design as well as how buttons and user interfaces are going to work, how we fix them to multiple resolutions and so on. We're going to create some a simple level select scene over here where we can switch through the complete scenes where specific buttons are loaded and we are able to load any of these buttons uh, or levels we have created. We made it so that everything, no matter how many we're going to have light on, like 20 um, from top to bottom or even 30 so should really easy match inside over here. Same for hexagonal and triangle puzzles. So we're going to learn how to do all these interactions we're gonna, and how we actually show the correct buttons for the correct modes over here. In pipes, we're going to learn how to create a timer for each of these levels, how to implement the text as a level text, basically, so we know in which level of pipes we are currently in. And what we also learn is about the complete UI design over here as well. We're going to make it so that these buttons are going to Actually, this one goes back to the level select, this one goes back or restarts the level and reshovels our puzzle over here. So as you can see, I can press this multiple times and you learn how to shovel these pieces automatically on restart. On right click and on left click, we rotate the tiles. So we learn how to rotate and interact with these tiles over here and how we actually solve these puzzles to get a completed screen and go back to the menu. Of course, you can also go back to the level select. In the second part, we're going to talk about, or rather later on, we're going to talk about distraction pieces, like this one, for example, or even this one, are going to be distraction pieces, and how they are not going to be involved in the puzzle itself. So, for example, this is not working since our water, or whatever we are going to shoot through, should just enter this way. And the only way to do anything, as you can see, even this one is a distraction puzzle. So this will not solve the puzzle overall. Also, we're going to take a look into hexadecimal or hex puzzles, where we're going to create those connectors. Of course, all the graphics will be created by yourself. So I'm going to teach you all the, how to create all these graphics and make use of them directly over here. And we're going to talk about this specific puzzles over here. Also, I give you an idea about colorful puzzles. So, I, for example, red needs to match red, white needs to match white, and of course, green needs to match green. And how to actually think of all the content over here. We're going to also take a look into triangle puzzles, where we're going to basically tint these corner triangles. Once again, we create these triangles as well in Inkscape, so keep that in mind. And of course, the player needs to now match all the tiles to however they would match in this case. So we're going to make sure that all the puzzles do work. We also stop the time whenever we are done. We are making sure that we cannot click on anything else but that uh, actually overlay over here. And we completely create all that complete content in this course. So if you are interested in the course, feel free to tune in. And I hope to see you in the course. Bye-bye.